You're welcome to Two Minutes in the Olive Garden. Today's text, Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 11. No one remembers the former generations, and even those yet to come will not be remembered by those who follow them. Hmm. Lord have mercy. The earth is a very interesting place. Some time ago in my mother church, the instrumentalists uh, became overprotective of the church instruments to the extent that they did not even allow some of the young people who wanted to learn how to play the instruments to even touch those instruments in the first place. 10 to 15 years down the line, some of the instruments are lying fallow and there is no one to play them. All of those who hijacked those church instruments in those days left to another church and now almost no one even remembers them. I once ministered in a small growing church in a developing area in Ghana and I told the hard working members of this fast growing church this. I said, God bless you all for the good works you are doing in this church. Let me however tell you that 20 years from today, when the church has become popular with a beautiful edifice attractive to all, many will come and enjoy the product of your hard work, except that by then, the church will not even remember you, who you are, or what you have done for the foundation of this church. Was there not a king who arose in Egypt who did not know Joseph? How many times do we remember President Atamels, the former late president of Ghana? Ghana has moved on. Even Martin Luther King and Kwame Nkrumah are remembered as and when we lament black history or struggles in an African country. But essentially, the world has moved on. So do what you can on earth and when your time is up, go and rest peacefully, proud of what you did for Christ and humanity. All your achievements will soon be forgotten, but your crowns secured in Christ will abide forever. The shalom of Yahweh be upon you.